Hey guys, it's David. Hope everyone's doing well. This is Sunday, February the 5th. Um, just coming to you uh, this Sunday afternoon from my from my couch in the living room. Just to give you a quick update. Uh, wanted to thank you all for uh, praying for me and my family. Continuing to support us financially and, and all that all, all, all of you who have uh, just done incredible things. Uh, it just has been been amazing to to watch and watch how God has used you. Um, wanted to uh, give you a quick update on how I'm feeling. I'm feeling good outside of um, the side effect of the uric acid being raised in my body, which causes gout, which if you've ever had gout, you know it is some of the worst pain Um I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Misery, <laughs> uh, where uh, James Kahn is the author and, and this uh, psycho fan uh, kidnaps him and, and is holding him hostage pretty much. And uh, to keep him from leaving, she does this thing called hobbling, where she basically smashes his foot with a sledgehammer. And uh, that is the closest thing to gout that I can even explain to you. It's crazy how painful it is. Uh, but I wanted to thank you all for praying for, for me and for my family. Ask ask you that you continue to do that, that this gout will subside uh, so that we can get through the rest of this treatment together. And uh, and uh, starting tomorrow, we do treatment number five of six. So we are getting, nearing the end of this. So I'm thankful for that. I um, want also to, uh, to uh, thank you all who have supported us financially. It's been... Just amazing watching watching God use folks to to make the impossible possible. And uh, anyway, we just uh, wanted to thank you for that. Also, um, I don't know how many of you uh, have ever dove into studies on prayer. Um, and we've talked. I've talked a lot about prayer. Uh, with of course, right now, prayer is the number one thing that I, I could get anybody to, to do for me is is to uh, believe with us and stand with us in, in praying in faith. Um, but in part of that, um, I had to vi start visualizing what my answered prayer is going to look like. What am I going to look like on the other side of this? And um, capturing that vision is so important. And so I would ask you this, when you pray, not just for me, but when you pray for anything in your life, what do your prayers look like? I don't mean how often do you pray, how long do you pray. Um, I, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the faith part of our prayers. Um, when you pray and you're believing God for a certain outcome, um, do you visualize what that's going to look like? And I'll tell you why it's so important. The Bible says without a vision, people perish. And um, that's easy to uh, talk about in church terms, but when it comes down to a personal level, it's the same same thing. If we don't have a vision of what God is going to do, we won't recognize it when God does it. Does that make sense? If we don't see how and 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 what this is going to look like on the other side, um, that is that is really a lack of faith. It's showing a lack of faith and a lack of. Um, really how you pray. Uh, it's, it's so important to to catch that vision of what it's going to look like. I don't care what, what the need is, whether it's a, a wayward child, uh, a disease, um, a financial need. What, what is that going to look like when God answers your prayer? And uh, I really think that's important because it helps us to recognize when God begins to answer those prayers because we have visualized it. And then when we see it come to pass, uh, we begin thanking and praising God, which we we do that prior to that because we know that uh, grace has supplied all things for us and our faith is what takes hold of that. Um, but as part of that faith, when you pray, when you pray for that child who is not listening, who is rebelling, uh, against everything that you say, everything that you stand for. Um, visualize what that's going to look like when you hold on to the promise that that when they are old, 
when you raise a child in the way it should go, when they are old, they will not depart from that. So start visualizing that child coming back, that prodigal child coming back, and what that's going to look like when they come to the realization that God loves them and that they are coming back to Him and to you. Um, and whether that's a job, whether it's a health concern, I know for me, um, when I pray, I had to get a vision of what, um, not only physically what I think I'm going to look like, um, but what I'm going to be doing and how it's going to, how, how this ministry is developing and growing and, and, um, I, I, you just have to catch that vision. So I would challenge you when you pray, um, ask yourself, what do my prayers look like on the other side of the answer? What am I, what am I holding on to in faith and believing God for and visualize it and hold on to that vision? Uh, it's so important, so important. So, um, guys, we love you. Just wanted to hop on here again and say thank you. Thank you a thousand times. Um, so, so grateful for you guys, uh, for your prayers, for your stand, for standing with us in faith and capturing that vision along with me uh, for my life and for my ministry and my family and, and what that's going to look like. And I'm excited, super excited about it. Uh, thank you again for praying. We love you. God bless you.